do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud to Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're going to talk about a brand new PS2 homebrew project just got released in 2021, and it's something called Open Tuna. And Open Tuna is awesome. We'll talk about it, how it works, how to install it, all that good stuff. If you do a quick search on YouTube, I noticed that there are three videos so far to date in Spanish and in Portuguese, for example, tailoring to those um, communities, which is awesome. And this will be the very first English tutorial on talking about Open Tuna. So I'm very honored to uh, kickstart this off and hopefully inspire the rest of you gamers here to also investigate and play around with Open Tuna on your PS2, assuming it is compatible, of course. So let's get to it. So here at the PSXPlace.com, and I'll have a link in the video description as well. Basically, Open Tuna is an open source version of Fortuna based on reverse engineering. So if you remember some videos I did in 2020, for example, Fortuna was a cool way of allowing you to boot into you launch Elf, right? Um, on your PS2 using a soft modded memory card. Of course, you needed some ways to install Fortuna project. I think that's what it was called. So anyways, using OpenTuna, this is an open source version of Fortuna. So that allows us to do cool things, which I will talk about a little bit later here. And I'm sure in the future, as new items get added to OpenTuna, it'll be more flexible than the closed source version of Fortuna. Okay, so compatibility is compatible with every slim PS2 console. So we got the 700XX series, 750, 770, 790, 900, PS2 TV, uh, which I don't have, but apparently it is compatible with it. And then only one specific fat console model, SCPH 500XX with BIOS version 1.90. If you're interested in the technical write-up, there's a tab here. We can read more about the nitty-gritty details. So for all those developers out there and those who just love the write-ups, this is for you, basically. How to use, we're going to be talking about this today. And particularly, we're going to be talking about the installer method, which is pretty simple, five-step process. So we'll go through that uh, a little bit later here. And then also how to execute it. And then there's also an alternative method to installing this using the PSU file in the apps folder. That's a more manual method. And I'm not gonna talk about that today, but this is a very good write-up, so go ahead. If you wish to do the manual method, go off of it here on the PSX Place uh, website. But there is a warning tab here telling you some things I've already told you already in terms of PS2 compatibility. And just like the original Fortuna project, once it is installed on your memory card, it is advised to not use it on the fat PS2 console or could damage the save data inside your memory card. If you wanna use that memory card on, on these kind of consoles, just delete Open Tuna and you should be good to go. Additional notes and FAQs, if you have more uh, questions, possibly um, FAQs could help you answer those. And then also I want to give big thanks to the credits section here. We want to thank Alex Parado, great guy. Um, he's the, the brainchild, the mastermind, I guess, behind Open Tuna and kicking this off. And of course, uh, it was inspired on the Fortuna project by Kratos. And then the Open Tuna installer, which we'll showcase today, was created by El Ezra, Howling Wolf, and Chelsea who also made the logo here, 3D Icon. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this, but uh, great for helping us out with that. Special thanks to CTURT, TNA, and UI Julian. And then the write-up proofread. I also had a little bit of my hands in this project, just a tiny bit here. So I helped with the proofreading with the write-up, which is pretty cool. And then I was also one of the better testers too, so that was pretty cool too. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. So thanks to the PS2 community for making it great. And here we are in 2021, still with rock on gaming. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead, download the program. It's gonna be like a release that RAR file on your, so I just saved it to my desktop here. I'm gonna right click and just extract to his own folder, right? And then we're gonna go inside the folder itself. This is what you get. So you have documentation folder. Okay, so the same thing that we saw on the website here. Um, we also have the files for manual installation if you're interested in that, but I'm not gonna showcase that today because we're gonna be doing the automatic in installer method. Graphics, if you wish to have the graphics for your own project, for example. So that's pretty cool. You launch Elf, this is useful if you wanna do the manual method. Uh, that might help you if you have any issues, but we're not gonna be using that today. Uh, technically, I already have it pre-installed, so I don't have to worry too much about it, but if you need it, it's there as part of the re release file. And then most importantly, we have to open Tuna. So I'm going to copy the ELF, so copy the ELF. 
I already have my PS2 thumb drive on my computer here plugged in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and paste it. I already have it here, so I'm just gonna overwrite it. Okay. And then we're gonna do is eject my USB. And then we're gonna plug that USB into my PS2. So let me just do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is, uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, the next part of this video tutorial assumes that you have a method to launch you launch elf. So there's a lot of different ways of doing that. I'm gonna be using free McBoot, which is a soft modded memory card installation that allows me to access homebrew basically. There's other methods out there, of course. We did a, a, a great tutorial on free DVD boot last year. So if your PS2 is compatible, give that a try. Maybe you have a mod chip, so you can use that to boot a U-Launch Alpha disk. Um, maybe you have a fat PS2, and maybe you have like FHDB, which is like a free make boot for the hard drive. You can also use that as well. So if you uh, have a method of uh, loading homebrew, that's the way to go. If you have no idea what I just said, um, I apologize. Please go to the PS2 modding playlist. We got a lot of great tutorials that gets you up to speed on, on how to, to get to where we're at today, basically. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and, and jump straight to my PS2 here. So what we got is my free McBoot memory card. So I'm gonna go into my Ulaunch Elf. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of housekeeping real quick here to prevent any issues. So if you go into your memory card, I have a memory card MC0, for example, here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the apps folder. So I'll right click, um, actually R1, excuse me. And then go to delete and delete that folder. And then go down to open tuner if you have one installed already. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. If you have other folders like Fortuna or Fun Tuna, you want to delete those as well. I don't have those today, but you can have those deleted. Uh, just in case, if you're using OPL, like a daily build, for example, which is a, a different build of OPL that's not part of the official 1.0.0 release, I've heard that you might have some issues with that. So just in case, you can always delete that folder that has a config configuration file in there, and that should be good to go. You won't have any issues with OPL moving forward, hopefully. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is let's go into, mem into my mass drive, and then we're gonna navigate to my OpenTuna installer .elf, basically, and press circle. And after this black screen, we'll see the installer message, so here it is, so you can press X or circle. So in my case, I'm just going to press X, make sure your memory card is in slot one, and your free space required is 1.68 megabytes. So I'm gonna leave this in real time here. You'll see that it doesn't take too much time to install it. And basically what it is doing is installing the OpenTuna files and then also installing two apps in the background, OPL and also you launch out. So let's press start to exit and let me showcase how this works here. Okay, so first let's go into the browser and let's go into the memory card. Right, so we'll see some new things here. One is we got the, the, the ball or the orb is what I like to call it. And then you also have the open tuna apps folder. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and press circle once. And then I'm just gonna press circle again. So let's press circle. And what it is going to do is automatically boot into OPL version 1.0.0 since that is pre uh, compiled and uh, packaged with this uh, open tuna. So um, what I'm gonna do real quick here is I'm going to settings, I have my USB thumb drive plugged in, so let's go ahead and put that to auto and go to display settings. I have like cover art, so I'm just gonna turn these three settings on real quick here because I like those settings. And then I'm gonna go down here and say save changes. So now, once the saving the configuration is done, I'm gonna press circle, go to my games list, and here's my USB thumb drive, and I have you know some couple games here, and I know they work. If I had uh, other programs, uh, tabs enabled, like hard drive or ethernet or applications, then those tabs at the bottom of the screen here would be selectable, but I don't have those enabled at the moment. Okay, so that is how you, that is the easy way to get to OPL. Basically go into your memory card browser, enter it, and then press circle and circle two times out and you're good to go. So let me just reset my PS2 real quick here. I could also have done go to start and exit as well. Okay, so we're gonna wait until we get to the main screen here on the PS2. Like I said, I'm using Free McBoot. You may have a vanilla memory card, that's okay too. The bottom line is get into your browser for the memory card. 
So we go into the memory card. So now let me show you the shortcut and how to launch. Uh, you launch ELF, so just press circle. And then at this point, I, what I want you to do is press circle and hold it down. Don't tap the circle, press it and hold it down. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm still holding it. And then once we get through the black screen, then we can let go of circle and we're inside you launch ELF, awesome. So at this point, you can do whatever you want, navigate to your memory card, maybe you have other .elf files that you have installed, for example. In my case, I'm just gonna go to my mass drive, I'm gonna go to one of my ELF files here. I have a Super Nintendo, for example. So I just run the Super Nintendo.elf for my mass drive and you're good to go. So basically, OpenTuna is installing the two most popular homebrew apps of all time, right? You got OPL and then you got Ulaunch Elf. Other than that, I think you don't, I think you're pretty much good to go unless you want to do something else on the side like emulators and, and whatnot, right? So that's today's video tutorial for the PS2 and OpenTuna. If you guys have any nippy questions in the comment here on the YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.